Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 4 assignment of the course Introduction to Industry 4.0 and Industrial IoT course. So friends, I hope all of most of these solutions are 100% correct. So the but uh, these are my probable solutions, guys. I am not. Uh, I don't guarantee any solution, but uh, I tried my best to give you the most appropriate solutions after uh, watching that lecture. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and share this within your WhatsApp status and WhatsApp student groups. So it will reach maximum number of students, and everyone will get benefited. I hope. So guys, uh, don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, then it will come into suggestions for many students, and it will be helpful for them. So do watch full video, guys, without skipping. Now let's see the first solution. So first one. Cyber security involves the security of what? So for first question, the answer is option C, hardware, software and data. So mark third option as correct answer for first question. Let me erase this. So mark third option. Now let's move on to the second question. Second one. So dash security represents the set of policies that monitor and prevent unauthorized access, safeguard the data and network from network traffic. So fill in the blank. So for second question, I think the probable answer is fourth option guys, network. So if you have any uh, doubts or if you want any solution to be changed, please give your appropriate opinion in the comment section guys. So I think option D could be the probable one. So these are my probable solutions. So please once, once check this guys. So whether it is A or D, but I think it could be option D only. So I'm going with option D here. So now let me mark option D. Now let's move on to the third question. So third one. Locky is an example of which type of cyber security threat? So for third question, the probable solution is option A, ransomware. Ransomware. So mark first option. Now let's move on to the fourth one. So what does C represent in the CAA triad? So CAA means confidentiality, integrity and availability. So they are asking about C that means confidentiality. So mark option C guys. So option C. Now let's move on to the fifth question. So fifth one here. What is ubiquitous sensing in IIoT? So for fifth question, the answer is Option B guys, in IIoT, sensors and actuators are used almost everywhere to control, enhance and optimize various functions. 
सो मार्क ऑप्शन बी सो मार्क ऑप्शन बी नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द सिक्स्थ वन सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन Which of the following is a data integration challenge in deploying IIoT? So for sixth question, the answer is option A. So I think so the answer is option A. Understanding the generated data for analysis and application in business. so mark option a and now let's move on to the seventh question now seventh one commercialization and the mass production of steam engines mark the beginning of dash stage the dash stage of the industrial revolution fill in the blank so for seventh question it is option d first stage so the beginning of the first stage of the industrial revolution so mark fourth option so mark option d and now let's move on to the eighth question so eighth one so before moving on to the eighth question i want to make a small announcement so guys uh, here if you see that here we have prepared uh, nptel exam preparation mcqs for iiot 4.0 course so with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have prepared this so there are two packs available savings pack and super savings pack so both are the pdf access google drive links so in super savings pack you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs which is worth just 500 only so you'll get the access till the exam day and up to 5 members can access this uh 300 mcqs so for each person it will take just 100 rupees right so if you are if you have group of uh, classmates you can uh, form a 5 member group or you can form groups and you can buy this 500 pack so you have to buy this combinedly 500 pack but uh, if you gather more number of students it will be beneficial for you so up to 5 members can access this for same 500 rupee no extra charge so the topics coverage is very high so much of syllabus is come uh, so much top so many topics will be covered here and search option is also available to search your required question which makes you easy to prepare and also it is easy to revise because you can easily scroll the pdf right and there is another pack which is just a savings pack it is uh, here you will get 150 number of mcqs so the price is 300 rupees it will uh, get till the exam day the validity will be till the exam day and up to 3 members can get access in this pack so the topics medium co topic coverage and also search option available and revision it is easy to revise so my choice is to make you to take this 300 mcqs pack guys because you are getting 300 mcqs more number of mcqs means better practice which may result in better grade so my suggestion is you is to take this pack guys 300 mcqs pack already many students have taken and got benefited through this so it's better to take this 300 mcq spec guys so if you want to take any of these packs you can mail me to this email id only message me if you want to take if you want to take this pack guys otherwise uh, you can ask your doubts in the comment section itself only if you want to purchase then only mail me this is my email id so i will give this in description box and also in the comment section also so there is another uh, membership so i will show you so this is a uh, youtube membership so this one the youtube membership it will 
uh, there will be 100 plus mcqs given and only for one person and for one month only it's a video format not pdf it will be 119 guys so this is only for one month and for one person only it will come in video format not in pdf format so if you want this you have to uh, go to this one so go to our channel page so s kumar edu you have to go to our channel page so go to this playlist but click on this playlist tab and if you see here there is nptl exam preparation video so click on that and you can see i have uploaded many uh, videos regarding this so there is a video particular two videos for iiot 4.0 see, see here it is there so here there is part one of this iot 4.0 course and the other one is also present part two video so here it is part two video so if you want any of these videos just go to our channel and click on join button so there is join button right beside the subscribe button there is join button so click on that and there will be three packages available so click on last one 119 per month pack and click on join button and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel you can get access to not only one course guys you'll get all the course videos for that single 119 per month pack only so if you, if you have any doubts you can uh, ask me in the comment section so my suggestion is to take this pack 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs and more validity so now let's get back to the solutions So eighth question. So eighth one. What were the negative effects of industrial revolution? So for eighth question, the answer is option D. All of the above. That means it will harm the environment. It is inefficient and also bad working environment so i think option d could be the probable solution for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one ninth question so how many key elements are there in the industrial internet so for ninth question the probable answer is option b three so mark option b three guys and now let's move on to the tenth question so tenth one how does sensing contributes to the industry so for tenth question the answer is option c higher degree of automation higher degree of automation so mark option c guys now let's move on to the 11th question Eleventh one the 11th question a smart sensor can perform multiple sensing unlike the traditional sensors true or false so i think it is true guys so if you have any different opinions regarding any question please give your opinion in the comment section guys these are completely my probable solutions so please uh, use these mcqs as per the reference purpose so mark uh, option a as probable solution now let's move on to the 12th one. So 12th, uh, 12th question. What is self decision making in a smart sensor? So for 12th question, the answer is option A guys. It can self-monitor its operation and changes in the ambience by taking proper decision by itself. So mark option A. And now let's move on to the 13th question. 
thirteenth one. Let me erase this first. So here, what is the full form of SCADA? S C A D A. So for thirteenth question, the answer is option B. So that is super supervisory control and data acquisition. So mark option B, guys. Now let's move on to the last but one question. That is fourteenth question, guys. So fourteenth one question. That is, what does the cognitive layer in the five C architecture for CPS represents? So for fourteenth question, the probable solution is option C, guys. System for optimized decision, human readable interpretation, and data visualization. So mark option C. And now let's move on to the fifteenth and final question of the assignment. That is. the last question guys so before getting into this i want to make you once again remember so we are providing this nptel exam preparation mcqs guys so completely based on nptel syllabus so here you will get huge number of 300 mcqs guys for just 500 rupees only up to 5 members can get access through this guys and it varies high topic coverage so many topics are covered here and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise So, if you want any of this pack, you can message me to this email ID. I will give that in the description box and also in the comment section. And there is another pack. This is a video format pack, guys. So here you have to purchase YouTube membership for one nineteen rupees. You will get all the videos that I upload in the members pack. Not only one subject, whatever I will upload, you will get there. This is for one month with one month validity, and there will be hundred plus MCQs. So it is only for one person, guys. so you can go to our channel page so click on join button hello guys and select 119 per month pack click on join button once again here blue color button and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these uh, members videos not one subject you will get all the subjects i will upload so now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one how can smart factory be beneficial in inventory tracking inventory tracking so for 15th question the probable answer is option a guys global interconnect global interconnectivity of small factory facilitates real time updates of inventory so option a is the probable solution for fifth question so friends these are the solutions for week 4 assignment of iot 4.0 and industrial iot course so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp student groups and make it more reachable to many number of students so guys if you are benefited or getting benefited through our videos please sub keep subscribe our channel keep subscribing our channel guys so keep supporting us like this for uh, forever and do like the videos guys only if you like the video we will get this up we will feel that there will be support for us so it will help me to continue the video till the last week of this nptel or uh, this season course so that's it guys so for nptel exam preparation videos message me to this email id if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so keep sharing this video guys so that's it so thanks for your support guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you